Joining us. Do I know you? My son Jordan's in your Sunday school class. Oh, it's a great little boy. So don't do anything that'll make him wake up tomorrow without a mommy. Put this on the mansion tab and have it all sent over this afternoon. Are we just the luckiest girls in the whole world? Yes, you are. Oh my god, Emma, you're gonna give this one over here! You think you know everything! You know nothing! I know that Jared and Undine were lovers, weren't they? And you were paid to say that they weren't. Say it out loud. Who paid you to say that they weren't? I don't know. They're what you call a, a private investigator. He came to me and he offered me a lot of money. A lot of money, but I said no. <clears throat> he offered more. <laughs> I took it. What was his name? Samson. Austin Samson. Hi, Lynn. This is Mrs. Hancock, I should say. Sorry, student. Um, I wanted to say happy birthday from Kathy Gaddy. And I am just so thrilled that there's some way to get contact with you and wish you a happy birthday and let you know that, oh, probably about 50 years ago, I was in your class and um, they were, you had a wonderful little gibbon. I don't remember its name. And, and we... We were inspired by you and uplifted, and you were positive and fun, and so inspirational that, in fact, I wanted to either be an actress or deal with animals, play and work with animals, and which is kind of the same thing. But anyway, I wanted to um, work with uh, first Sealand, I think, in Victoria, and then I ended up going to New York and eventually Los Angeles. And when I first got to Los Angeles, I went to work at Universal Studios with the animals. And they said, it's a two year waiting list and they were paying five bucks an hour about 20 years ago. And I thought, nah, that's not really a living. So I went on and continued my acting career and that's what I've been doing since then. Anyway, I wish you a very happy birthday and maybe one day our paths will cross and all the best in Belize, have a great time. And thank you again for being such an amazing, positive, fun and wonderful teacher. I think anybody who's had you as a teacher is fortunate. I love Boston. Yes? Yes. I had hoped to visit there on this trip, but you already said there wasn't time. There never is. Indeed. <laughs> Excuse me. Mrs. Suvorov, your husband is asking for you. Thank you. My powerful husband probably needs me to tie his tie for him. <laughs> Excuse me. Of course. Alta. Thank you again for being so kind. Ladies. Photographers are waiting. Thank you, Mr. President. I hope you don't mind if I accompany you. This way we'll have more time to talk. I like dinner. <laughs> Toya always came to school with a lunch, clean clothes. She was a happy child, loved. That's not something you forget either. Not around here. Well, we are certainly glad that Belgrade made your itinerary. Well, it's becoming one of my favorite stops. <laughs> Your eyes are really blue. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're almost too blue, don't you think? Listen, sweetheart, I, I, I apologize. I have to get out of here. I have a uh, have an early call time tomorrow, so. Call time? Yeah, yeah. I'm uh, I'm here producing a film, among other things. You know, I used to be actress. You're kidding me? <laughs> Quite you, good, you know. You wouldn't you wouldn't want to. I mean, it, 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 it's it's a really small world. <gasps> There are no small roles what? here. Oh, wait, wait, I will find you a boy. No, we have the perfect boy. Don't you understand? No, just use huh? all he was 10 years old, blonde hair, all my eyes. Old soul, he was please perfect. Don't have to see. Trust me, I know this boy. I, I, will, I will bring him. Can he be here by tomorrow? Because I can't afford another. No, no, I bring him, I promise you. Have please, I don't cut, cut. Okay, no cut. No, I bring him. The werewolf! <laughs> I can do 
better. We go again? I am happy to be here. Dobrze. It's good you're getting better. This is Vadim Yuchenko, head of the agency. And this is... Manuel. Manuel. He'll be escorting you to Los Angeles. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Pochepku passport. Dlaczego wzięła pani nasze paszporty? Visa. Ale my już mamy wizę. Nie zabój się, Daragaja. W tu mi znają, gdzie żyły twoje rodziciele. To, że mi znają, że u ciebie jest manekis. Stay calm and take deep breaths, okay? Myra, I need a doctor here right now. You're not a doctor? No, I'm a nurse. You're a man and you're a nurse? What kind of man is nurse? <laughs> Look, folks, I'm a professional, okay? I know exactly what I'm doing, so just trust me, everything's gonna be fine. The boy. The boy. I do the alterations. Give the dress back to Montecito Messenger. Simple, simple. You don't believe? Check tape. You have surveillance cameras in your shop? I saw real diamonds on costume for Elton John. 50 carats. Compared to that, this dress worth nothing. Galina protects Galina. He has testicular cancer, which means there are bad cells in his testicle. By removing the testicle, we hoped it would also remove the bad cells. So how come he's still sick then? The cancer had already spread into his abdomen and lungs. You need to be prepared for the worst. Warning him for his bad behavior. <laughs> I don't know a bunch of mommy. Well, that's nice, sweetie. But Peter has a job to do. He can't just drop everything to hang out with you. No, it's no big deal. Thanks for looking out for him. Really misses his dad. Come on. On a neck